welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome in today's video i'm going to show you how to make your very own wedding veil wedding veils are so expensive so so expensive and sometimes i don't even know maybe because it has the tag on it wedding veil that is why it is so expensive when i had to get married one day out of curiosity i just decided to check the prices of wedding veils online and trust me i was blown away because i did not understand why a wedding veil will be this expensive so in this video i'm going to show you how to make your very own wedding veil i made a cathedral wedding veil for my wedding dress and it was so beautiful so you want to find out how to make your very own wedding veil keep watching before we go into the video make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that whenever i post a video you will get notified okay let's go into the tutorial let's go let's go let us go so i'm starting with this strong tool this shiny one i showed you in the video of what i bought to make my wedding gown then you need a thread i switched that to white because i thought you guys don't see what i'm saying that's why i chose red then that is a comb this is a comb you use to insert it to your hair so let me just show you a paper outline because you know that fabric is white and you might not see it enough so if this is the two you fold it into two like this then you fold it into fold it again making it a fold of four then this is what we have here this is what you will do on the two net okay Then here's the outline that you will draw to give you that veil shape. I had to reduce the exposure here because, I, of course, you guys are not seeing it. So this is what it looks like. Ah, oh God, can you see it? I know it's a little dark. It's a little too bright, but that's the shape. Okay. And after that, you are just going to cut it. And when you are cutting, you're going to do it carefully. And if you have like any pointed end or any pointed edge, you just make sure it goes in like the way I took it off so that everything will go in smoothly. They won't have any, there won't be any sharp end, you understand? So to choose, then you have to open it up. So to choose where the comb will be, depending on the length you want the front veil to be, you just choose pick that point and attach your comb to that point it's just very simple guys so i'm just going to show you how i made the one for my wedding gown okay now i'm showing you guys a shorter version because this is the only this is the only net i have left the one i made for my wedding gown was way longer but it's same process okay it's same process if it's too long what you can do is instead of folding you can do it individually on each side but it's going to confuse you so just follow this pattern that i'm showing you so i folded into two and i'm folding it again now this is giving us a fold of four okay then from the middle i'm just going to mark out the outline now um you all you just want to do is create like a flared like shape you know when you guys want to cut your fillet you know that shape you give you understand so if your fabric is short just take the longest length that can give you you know the shape me i worked with 33 throughout that's for this short veil the one for my white wedding <laughs> i did it on the wedding day guys let me reduce my voice my husband is in the next room i don't want him to know <laughs> i did it on the wedding day so i don't i didn't use 33 i just used like the longest length i could get or the longest width I could get so you just measure measure till you get that flared shape so this is what we have here I don't know if you can see it very well but I use like a marker so you guys will see the points I marked so after marking you're going to cut above the markings okay you're not going to cut exactly on the marking because it's going to show the marker you used to mark the point so i just went ahead to cut above the markings one thing you have to realize is okay some places you might not get the exact number because for me some places i got 33 some places i couldn't get a three i used 31 all i just did i made sure that everything just synced in well okay that's what i did 
and I just went ahead to cut it slowly and gently okay this is the outline I wanted you guys to see the shape then I went ahead to cut that sharp I had like a sharp edge there that I didn't want so I just went ahead to trim that out so that I'll have this curvy easy breezy fine view okay now if you want this view let me know I'm giving it out <laughs> it's a giveaway if you want the view let me know in the comment section make sure you're in Nigeria and if possible you're in Abuja Nigeria so after cutting I opened it up then I spread it open okay then I folded it back into two now it's time to attach the comb so from the top I'm just going to measure where I want the comb to start where I want the comb to be okay and for this view I took 25 inches for the one I used for my wedding I used 33 inches because I wanted it to drip really down 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 okay so I just put a pin there so that I would know the point I measured this is my comb initially I wanted to sew it with a red thread so that you guys will see but I decided otherwise so I'm switching to a white thread so I just going I just threaded my needle and the next thing I did was I attached the comb to you can see that the pin is still there the pin is still there so I just took out the pin and I attached the comb to that point okay it's just very simple now there's a technique to attaching this comb <laughs> there's a technique because you have holes and sometimes it's just very trust me it is very frustrating the one for my wedding it was my cousin that attached the comb for me like I mentioned earlier so like I said there's a technique so what you are going to do is you are going to pass the needle through the hole from the bottom take it through another hole on the top make sure you pick a little net while you are sewing then you continue like that from bottom to top top to bottom just use the outline of the holes that are in the comb okay so that's just the simplest way and easiest way to sew the comb when you get to the end make sure you make a knot make sure you make like several knots then you cut okay so this is what the veil looks like after I've sewn the comb. You can see that the white thread is not really showing. Some people use transparent thread, but I asked my cousin to use a white thread. And this is what it looks like. You won't even see the stitches because of how you attach the, the comb with the outline of the holes, you know, in the comb. Okay. So this, this is how it looks like. It's just very simple and easy. Guys, you can see the thread is not showing. It's just folded. So this is just the easiest way to make your wedding veil. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in my next. Bye.